In this video, we are talking about the future of running shoes. What is up, everybody, and welcome to 40 Runs. Now, before we get into this video, I want you to let me know in the comments, when you choose a running shoe, do you base that choice on whether there's recycled elements in the shoe, whether it's made, uh, made in a sustainable way, whether there's, uh, I don't know, parts of it that are used to say like recycled, uh, recycled materials or, I don't know, like the Nike Nature shoes like the Alpha Fly stuff like that. Does that impact your buying choice? That's what I'd be very interested to know and let me know in the comments. Uh, so right, why is he going on about this? Well, we've got the Adidas or Adidas uh, All Birds Cross shoe uh, on the channel today. Now this is, I would say, a direction of channel, uh, a direction of traveling, which we're probably going in, in terms of running shoes. Um, there's some really cool stuff that they've done on this shoe. We are going to talk about a little bit uh, of how it is as a running shoe as well, but I think the mainstay of the video is going to be about um, what's going on here in terms of sustainability, uh, the products used, and then maybe, as I said, let that, that sort of direction of travel, in which I hope we go uh, with running shoes. Okay, so firstly, who the hell are Allbirds? If you don't know who Allbirds are, uh, and you've not seen any of the videos on our channel or other channels, they make shoes like this, the Tree Dasher. I think this is the Tree Dasher. Uh, let me have a look. Yeah, I think so. Um, and they are a sort of uh, casual, uh, clothing shoe manufacturer who then moved into sort of running shoes. Um, but they uh, make all their products in a sustainable way. They use a lot of recycled materials and, and natural materials um, which go into their shoes. For, for example, this midsole is made from sugar cane um, extracts, I think it is. Um, so there's lots of stuff going and technology in this shoe about the, uh, sustainability, which actually caught the eye of the guys at Adidas. So during the pandemic, Adidas got together with Treber, um, with uh, Allbirds and they created this. Now this is the, like I said, the Adidas Allbirds Cross. Now what's so important about this shoe is the carbon footprint. Now most shoes, uh, running shoes we're talking about today, um, actually some probably other shoes as well, but running shoes in general um, have a carbon footprint of over 10 kilograms. Now this shoe has got a um, carbon footprint, I'll put it on the screen, I think of 2.9, yeah, I'm sure right 2.94 kilograms CO2E, I think is what it's called. It's actually on the shoe. Um, so that means it's an almost zero, almost, we're close to it, zero carbon footprint uh, from this shoe. Now what they're talking about with this shoe is, where is it? Uh, it's not on here, it's on the box, but the processes in which they've made it. So it, it's not just about, um, how the shoe is made, but it's, it's, it's how the shoe is conceived, uh, produced, shipped, and then even all the way through its life cycle to end of life. They thought about the whole chain in terms of the shoe um, and making it, as I say, that sort of as low as they can carbon footprint. Now let's talk about the sort of bits and bobs that are on the shoe. Um, first, let's talk about the midsole. So we've got an element of, I think it's 18% of the sugar cane, um, EVA based foam in here, but we've also got that combined with some light strike from Adidas. So they've made it into a sort of more, I don't know, lighter feeling responsive ride. Um, and that's not to be horrible to the, to the uh, tree dasher, but they've tuned it up with the light strike um, midsole as well from Adidas, which is good news. We've got uh, what else? Where do we start? Okay, so the shoe lining is 100% recycled polyester. Uh, you've got a load of embroidery around the shoe that creates reinforcement, especially around the toe box, midfoot, and heel. Now that's all um, recycled polyester in terms of the embroidery. Uh, we've got um, a natural rubber outsole, for example. The upper is, I can't remember the exact amount, but it's 70% uh, recycled, and then the 30% of it is a natural fiber. So the combined upper, you say it's that, that, that blend of recycled and natural fiber material, so there's no like, I don't know, naughty products in there, let's call it. Um, the uh, packaging, even the packaging is, is sort of all totally recycled, and I'll show you in a second, but it's all sort of minimalistic to help uh, save weight in terms of shipping and, and all that kind of stuff. And actually talking about shipping, they're trying to use ships instead of air freight, again, to sort of reduce that carbon footprint. Um, the laces are recycled polyester on the shoe. So they're really thin, but they're recycled polyester. So the whole shoe has been thought about from the bottom up 
in terms of uh, the recycled elements, but also the sustainability. So if we look, you'll see some of that embroidery now that I was talking about from that recycled um, embroidery uh, elements that they've used, because if the shoe has got no structure to it so they've added that stitching in there around the midfoot and around the toe box to add some form of structure to the shoe uh, you've got a little bit of padding around the heel uh, you've got a one uh, one piece tongue that stitches in down here it's not gusseted so it literally just lays on the top of your foot um, in terms of fitting right actually if it's true to size so it, it's like a barely there shoe it weighs get ready for it absolutely nothing because the weight so 6.15 ounces, um, which is, let me just do the grams, sorry, hang on, 174 grams. So again, it's about that weight. So when it goes in this really skinny box here, um, which again is all about saving uh, uh, size. And, and so if you're packing, I don't know, 100 of those boxes and you pack 100 of the normal size boxes, you're going to be saving weight and how much is going on the boat. So think about it like that. But yeah, so they've reduced the weight of the shoe as well right let me think what else is there to know about the sort of sustainability elements of the shoe so all birds are basically sort of specialists in producing shoes in a non um, petrochemical form so they use different bits of bobs in the shoe like so most shoes are using like petrochemical elements i would call it um, in, in what the shoes are made up of but this shoe has reduced all of that the other cool thing as well to think about uh, it, or to let you know about is the processes so even the the manufacturing processes they've used is, is all about reducing waste so when they cut the upper and things like that so there's not a lot of like waste just laying on the floor they're the sort of cool things that when they when they looked at the shoe and the process even the manufacturing process going right down to how the you know the the uppers cut and things like that they've reduced tried to reduce waste along the way so the whole i don't know yeah the whole process it's just been thought about in such a unique but really really awesome way so now i know that there's a cost involved in this and we see that because like sustainable products running products are like really really expensive look at the stuff from tribe sports for example now this shoe's 110 pounds which i don't think is actually that bad yes you could argue that it's you know a fashion shoe and all that sort of stuff and we'll come on to how it performs in the run as a running shoe in a minute but 110 pounds i thought that they'd probably be like 150 pounds because it's like say it's all that sustainability usually you find the prices are really high so i think they've done well actually coming out with 110 pounds um because that does tend to happen with the say with the sustainable products but it's 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 more interesting in terms of i think this is the way we're going so i think we're going to get to a point and this is where it's interesting from you in the future you know even two years away i think a lot of the shoe manufacturing is going to go this way and well actually i hope it goes this way yes you could argue that it's a cost you know argument for the shoe manufacturers you know where they make them out in vietnam and malaysia and all the different places in the world where they produce the shoes but if they can all try and do a little bit more which i think they are trying to do say look at the nike nature range for example um i think that this is definitely definitely the sort of way we are going with running shoes but like i said at the start in the you know in, let me know in the comments is this now uh, at such a stage where it it actually makes you uh, makes your choice about your purchase um you know if it does have a sustainable or a recycled or you know whatever element to it let me know in the comments because i think as as buyers we, we are sort of going that way a little bit more than we probably ever have done and this shoe is I think at the, is at the starting point of where we're now going to go. Yes, they have, and Adidas have done a great job with their lines, like with the Prime series um, of different recycled elements in the shoes. But with, with now where we're going, I think this is probably the sort of starting point in which they're now going to build on in terms of um, using even more, you know, recycled and natural products in the shoes. And, and, and silly things, like I said, about the manufacturing, the boxes and all that kind of elements of the process so i think this is this is could be a watershed moment in terms of um shoe manufacturing running shoes and that kind of stuff um yeah right so let's get on to what it was like as a running shoe okay so look as a running shoe it's not very good um <laughs> it's very firm and yeah if you want to if you want a running shoe don't buy this right this is not 
uh, a very good running shoe. This is a very good um, piece of engineering and and um, it should stand alone as a product that's made to show people what's achievable in terms of sustainability. But as a running shoe, you won't want to buy this. I think this is quite a cool uh, fashion shoe as a, as a, you know, a, a daily shoe. Um, and also the fact that you're making a statement that you believe in, in the process that's been uh, achieved here. I think that's, you know, probably where it's at. Um, but yeah, as a running shoe, it's not very good. You, this is, you just wouldn't. But that said, if you are a very, very, very conscious person about sustainability and you want a daily train or something that you can go out and run in, it will do you fine. It's just very firm. Uh, that's the only thing I would say. And there's no structure to it. Uh, and it, yeah, it's, there's nothing there. It's minimalistic, which, you know, you might really like. So, you know, don't be... Um, put off just because I'm saying it's not a very good running shoe but you might like that sort of minimalistic but it, it is firm you can feel the firm the concrete it was murdered down the canal toe paths uh, because I felt every stone even tiny stones in it so it's not really for me a very good running shoe but what it is for me is a statement the fact that I believe this is the way we should be going so there we go people I don't know whether it was useful or not this video I wanted I wanted to talk about it um, because I wanted to start a conversation really with you about whether now you're making choices based on, as I said, about three times now, about whether, you know, products are sustainable, made from sustainable products, natural, recycled, all that kind of stuff. That's what I really wanted to get out of the video to find out from you where you're at. Um, yeah, and just highlight that, you know, we're moving in a direction, I think, it is in the right way in a positive way and i really want to congratulate all birds and really congratulate adidas for creating a shoe but also a statement about what can be achieved and what should be achieved mm -hmm.